Okay, first live demo. So let's start by create the creating the first component of the assembly. First, we switch to synchronous, then create a rectangle on the XY plane. And then extrude. Yep, that's fine. And add another rectangle on the front face. Make sure you connect the midpoint of the rectangle with midpoint of the line. So just move the mouse over the edge and press the M key to connect both endpoints. So let's adjust this rectangle a little bit. Yep, that's fine. Then click and extrude that surface. Next, let's add a few rounds. So this one here, this one, this one, and this one. Looking good. Right click, accept. Then create a thin wall. First step, what are the open faces? In this case, there are only one, the top one. And the next one, which face do you want to exclude from uh, the thin wall? So let's go in top view, select build space. And voila, it's looking good. Right click, accept. Great. Now let's add a O. Whoops, a little bit too big. So place the O, escape, select, and change the side. Let's go for 25. That's good. Let's move it a little bit on the side, like this. And then use the mirror command. Make sure that they are both aligned. That's it. Here we go. So that's the first component. So you can now save this component. Let's call it a box. And then let's create an assembly out of this one. So application menu, go to new and choose create assembly. Great. So now we have my box inside the new assembly. Let's save this and call it the box again. Great. Now the part is still open on the back. So since the part is already open by the assembly, you can close this one. Let's adjust the capture area. Yeah. So let's close this part. The assembly already opened this part. So there is no need to have two process of the same part. So let's create a new component. So create part in place. Let's call it a cover. Make sure coincident with assembly origin. Same folder as the assembly. Let's ground the part and create and edit this one. Switch back to synchronous. By default is order, so I can change it in the set it edge option. So with the extrude, simply extrude one of the face of the first component. And using the select manager, that will be shift and spacebar. Select and a face and use the recognize feature. Switch back to exit the selection manager, so that shift spacebar and eat the delete key to erase the inside of this cover. That's it. Save, close. Back to the assembly. So at this point I can, whoops, have to uh, switch back to face priority. So that's control spacebar. Yep. Sorry. So now I can select multiple face from multiple component. Whoop. Let's go with the uh, Symmetry would be better. So we can modify multiple components without having any interpart relationship. So in my case, I move the bottom part and manually anchor or go back to the key point here. So in this case, both parts are independent, but they can be modified right from the assembly. 
So now let's go with inter-part relationship. So first thing to do is which part will be driven? This one here. And which part will be driving? This one here. And Savidej will recognize some relationship. Just make sure they are what you need. You can uncheck them. Let's save this. Now I got my component with the little chain saying there is an interpart relationship. If I click on this one, oops, sorry. If I click on this one, I can now see that is driven by. So I can now pick a face, pull on that face. When I finish, everything will be adjust. So let's go with the bottom edge. Yep. Can whoops, sorry. Now you can see that the head, the face of the cover follow the box. So let's undo this. And let's erase those relationships. So let's go with the yeah, probably the interpart manager. So select your component, right click and break all links. So now you have break the links. So there's no chain. You can save this. Whoop. Part purity. So that's control spacebar. Select component and is it? So we don't need the uh, face that we create previously. So let's delete those. So we could have first delete those face and all the relationship also would have been delayed, delete at the same time. So now we don't have any relationship between the two part. So now let's try something else. So let's first select a face. So back to face priority. Again, that's control spacebar. Launch the interpart relationship. And select now the driving part. So this one here. And only co-planner in this case was proposed. So pick this face. So now only this face is associated with the other part. If I go with the back face of the cover and I move, the face at the back and the face at the front are, are no, not symmetric because they are two different face. But what I can do is at the assembly level, I can position face using the face relationship and you will see in that case that the persistent option when I finish select the plane the persistent option is not active at this point so no relationship will be preserved only apply but not preserve so when we checkbox accept we have two face place in a symmetry position, but they are not symmetric. There is no relationship between the two. So what we can do is go back inside the component, select the front face, launch symmetry, go with the back face, accept, right click, and then select the X, Z plane, and this time persistent will be active. So the relationship will be saved and will stay persistent. Except now we have the symmetry and we have the group. Okay, so we have the group that we create previously with the relationship at the assembly level. So now let's go back to the assembly. save and now I can pick the back face and the front face will follow because they are in our symmetric 
even if they are not two identical face. Oh, sorry. Screen one black. So now I can pull this face here. So manually I can modify a component and do my adjustment. This one was interpart relate, so they adjust automatically. Pick the front face and move everything. So in that case, I forgot to pick the old. So the old doesn't exist anymore in the bottom face. But I can easily recreate them. So now here, if you want to add multiple face to the select set, just use the space bar and cycle through until you got the add only mode. So any face that you pick that are not in the select set will be automatically add to the select set. So now, yeah, you just see that I forget to pick the hole previously, so the hole is no longer in the bottom face. But again, I can copy paste if I want. So that's a brief introduction to interpart relationship. Thanks.